NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Nice break from the rain today. Yeah, it really was. Nice to see the sunshine. Some of us, of course, had to get rain. We just can't buy a totally dry day. Nope. Tomorrow, unfortunately, humidity returns. So does the storm chances. All right. But we're thinking that we might be able to squeeze in a couple of nice days later this week. It'll just be really hot and humid. So seems like it's either one or the other the, uh, this time of year. Um, and we showed you some stats yesterday from Burlington, and it was only the 35th wettest July on record with 4.6 inches. So I thought I'd show you Plattsburgh and how it compares. The airport is coming with 5.23 inches of rain so far this month, so there's still some time to go. That puts Plattsburgh at the fifth wettest July on record. Records only go back to 1945, but 2007 takes the cake currently for the wettest July on record, 6.68 inches that year. Of course, there could have been a July that had more rainfall before that, but that's just what we have on record. So pretty interesting to see the variability across the region. And we had one disturbance today. I switched it over to the water vapor so you can can easily see these individual disturbances. You can see a little spin in the atmosphere right there near Montreal. That helped to spark off the isolated storms today, but you see a bigger spin off to the west. This one's a little bit more potent near Detroit, and that area of spin is on the way for tomorrow. So that's why we're expecting the storm coverage to sort of pick up tomorrow afternoon. You can already see plenty of storm coverage from Toronto out through Detroit just ahead of that uh, low pressure center. But locally here, most of us are dry. Most of us stayed sunny today, but near Lake Champlain, that's where we found a couple of isolated storms, just as expected right along the lake. Lake Breeze Front still have a couple of downpours near Beekman Town through Dannemora into Morrisonville, moving into Plattsburgh in the next five or ten minutes. A couple of isolated cells down to the south as well near Warren and Granville a little earlier, and one just crossing Route 7 between Salisbury and Brandon right now. So in terms of these isolated cells, the thinking is that they will probably continue in some areas until sunset and then they should start to diminish. The atmosphere sort of resets overnight. So we have clear skies tomorrow morning. It's very comfortable tonight as well. Once again, the humidity stays low until tomorrow afternoon. Moisture starts to come in from the southwest on top of that disturbance I just showed you on the water vapor, and that should yield more widespread coverage of the thunderstorms by one o'clock as early as one o'clock. We'll have to start worrying about pop up storms in New York and then they'll move into the rest of Vermont as we go into the mid to late afternoon hour. So four or five o'clock is probably when we start to get really busy through most of Vermont moving into the Northeast Kingdom by six or seven o'clock and then we dry things out overnight into Tuesday. And I remember yesterday I was saying Tuesday looked like the wettest day. Well, that doesn't look like the case anymore. It actually looks like Monday is going to end up being the wettest. Tuesday still has an isolated chance at a couple of storms, but largely most of us will be under the sunshine. The system on Monday is sort of robbing the atmosphere of the moisture that we would have seen on Tuesday. So it actually turns out Tuesday's looking better and then it turns hot and humid for Wednesday. So in terms of the severe threat level, we're in a one out of five for tomorrow. That means there's some isolated damaging wind gusts, certainly some hail possible in some of the cells, but we're not too concerned about flash flooding. And that's because we've had a couple of days to dry the soils out and also the storms will be moving a lot faster than they have been. So it won't have a chance to really uh, pile on all of that rain. We've got to watch for damaging wind and lightning though. That's probably the highest threat, very frequent lightning. So keep an eye to the sky tomorrow. That's why we've got the impact icon. We took it off for Tuesday because of the lesser storm chance, but it still looks to get hot and humid Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures could be well into the 90s, and then we're talking about more shower and storm chances as we head into next weekend. <laughs>